Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. In this short video, I would like to show you how to open the text file in QGIS, how to configure the delimited text in QGIS geometry definition for files, how to open the CSV Excel file in QGIS and at the end how to convert the text CSV Excel files into shape file in QGIS. So let's start. So after opening your QGIS software and going to the layer, you see add layer, add delimited text layer here. You can choose your file here. I already provided one uh, test uh, t, uh, text file and you see the format is txt. And if I just open, you see the different uh, option here, like a file format, record and field option. For example, the, for the file format, uh, we use the semicolon because you know the different uh, the the spaces between the different values are semicolon. It can be in some some text file in the comma or tabs or a space, and it's uh, it it depends onto your file, and you must check it before uh, uploading to your uh, system. But it will be clear to you, and you can choose it here. And it's the number of the header lines to discard is up to you. For example, if you have the many empty fields and you can just discard from here. And the most important part is the geometry definition. As you see, you can uh, define such a file to give the coordinate. If you have the coordinate X and Y uh, coordinates into your uh, file. I already have this one and you can just define it as a X and Y and it's uh, and sometimes you, you can define well known text or no geometry if you do not have this geometry and you would like just add this table into your QGIS file you have this option and you have this sample data you see uh, this one so it seems everything is okay and you know encoding is very important it's UTF-8 and I will explain just right now what is this encoding and UTF-8 so if I just uh, explain to you what is the encoding because the encoding is important for us encoding is the process of the turning thoughts into communication and if you see here we have the many difference of the encoding system but the most important one is the UTF-8 is the encoding system for Unicode. It can translate any Unicode character to matching unique binary string. This is the meaning of the UTF or unique transformation format. So we already have this UTF-8 and it seems everything is okay and by just adding uh, icon so you see your text file right now with the geometry with the point geometry as you see right now so let's try to add one csv file or one excel file into your system so here we can uh, as you see from the menu toolbar you can go to the layer and after that just adding your uh, uh, yes here from add delimited uh, text layer or you have another option just by clicking here the file that this uh, page will be open for you and just going to your file and I already created one CSV file here uh, and just uh, open and you see right now uh, it, it seems everything okay but you must define again your point coordinate and it is possible if you do not have any coordinate you can just consider as a no geometry and you can define again your X and Y uh, coordinate and by just adding it must be added into your QGIS so it seems everything okay because we have um, two layers point layers uh, right now and they are exactly overlapping because I uh, use the same file so the last part I would like to show you how to convert such a file into the shape file because as you know the, the, the format right now is the text file but we use to uh, we use this uh, option to show them as a point coordinate but we would like to save it as a shape file by just clicking 
uh, right click here and export save feature as you have this option to define different format here and if I just uh, use this S3 shape file and uh, where would you like to save and just uh, giving the name for example test one uh, three something like it's, it's up to you and save so you have again this encoding system and uh, select field to export and their export option so you have this option for example if you do not need uh, some of those columns you can just for example just remove it from here and if you would like to replace uh, uh, all selected row fields value by displayed value it's, it's up to you so I can just uh, click it here and if I just OK it must be yes as you see right now if I go here in the properties and in the information the format is the shape file so it means right now you have one shape file from one text or Excel or uh, CSV file into your QJS I hope you enjoyed from this video and in the following video I will show you how to make a join or a special join between one Excel file and one shape file so follow us subscribe our channel and please do a like and write it down your question in the comment section and we will answer your question as soon as possible thank you very much and see you soon